Okay, I can see it. Okay. So good evening, everyone. Good evening, sir. So and now uh, I'm here to present on behalf of our group, the ethic group, which is consists of architects Magaisai, architect Galliano, and architect Padigrao, and yours truly, architect uh, Matakubo. So our proposal is entitled Rerouting pedestrians from Mayor Santiago Lotilia Road to near Road, Barangay District 1, Sibalong in Antigua. Okay, so a brief uh, introduction or shall we recall the situation in this area. So the University of Antique, the main campus is located along the Mayor Santiago Lotilia Street. So it is a 2.4 kilometer road at the Barangay District 1 in the Poblacion of Sibalo. So it connects the road going to Iloilo City to southbound and uh, the Aklan in northbound Naman. <clears throat> so it is considered as one of the busiest streets in the Poblacion. So the situation here, you know, the sudden rise of university's population has doubled from more than more or less than 8,000 students in 2018 to more than 16,000 students in just two years after the pandemic. So it it uh, affects greatly on the capability of the mayor central de Lotira Street uh, on on its level of service. The so uh, some problems emerge like traffic congestion vehicular bottleneck, pedestrian overflow, improper location of terminals, flooding, and etc. Uh, so those are some of the notable problems that we have investigated and we cited. So as uh, as our proposal, see the National Media Road is being an alternative road uh, to create a more innovative road along the mayor central goal street so as the time goes in the future so some of the uh, improvements along the mayor central goal street will be uh, uh, will be started so our hypothesis as a group no it will be uh, if if the work will be on side by side so it probably became will became a a uh, one-way road only. For for our analysis, the the heavy trucks or heavy vehicles should uh, be on the route of Mayor Santiago Till Street, while the pedestrians are here on our proposal, the near road. Okay, so let's go to objectives. So the main objective of this project is to provide a safe, unobstructive, and walking-oriented sidewalk for pedestrian. Uh, catering mainly the University of Antique students to Sibalem proper or vice versa. Okay, so here you can see here the, the site analysis. So what we did is we divide it into three parts. Now the, the first one is the first one is somewhere over here so the first part is somewhere here the the entrance of the near road uh, the uh, the first entrance now from the university of Antique because that's that's where the the students are flocking so that's the first part and the second part will be on somewhere here no, in the center because it uh, proposed it uh, uh, typical lang naman yung itsura niya, pero we should uh, look into mm -hmm. details no, uh, on later on. Okay. And uh, as you can see in the circle, it is what we identified as the conflict number one. So later on, I will show to you why it, why it is a conflict 
on the proposal. And next is uh, the third area is the the last part, which the the junction between the Mia Road and the Gonzales Street, because that's the one that's leading to the to the population. Okay. So here you can see. So the site analysis, no, the, the road beside University of Antique, which is the Mayor Santiago Latino Street, gets congested with tricycle parking and street vendors. As you can see on the on the previous uh, presentations, no, mm -hmm. student traffic during the peak hours and heavy vehicle traffic. So the proposed of pedestrian routing is a part of the near road, which is a limited road right of way. So later on, I'll show to you the section of that. Uh, uh, it has a limited space, not only, which is underdeveloped and sometimes it's uh, muddy. No? And during at night, it's uh, dark no? because wala pa sulok. During heavy rains or typhoons, the situation in the near road is on on silt or in muddy along the irrigation bank. And sometimes it uh, it may have a soil erosion. However, the road is desirable for pedestrian usage because it is shaded with three canopies. You know, it has limited vehicle traffic and uh, water element no, that give cooling effect on the sidewalk users, which is um, I noticed on the other presenters that uh, one of the factor of, of of pedestrian, why they don't tend to walk is the climate, you know, the hot climate yeah. in the Philippines. All right. So, so let's go to the uh, first, uh, first area. You no, know, for the first area, this is our. So, look into the details. So here, um, the the existing near road is just a four point five uh, width, no, uh, estimated more or less. So four point five meters mm -hmm. yung width niya, the uh, somewhere here. Now, from the edge of this road up to the edge of the uh, near irrigation is uh, are, uh, roughly around 4.5. So uh, we have no choice but to uh, maximize the, the pedestrian uh, space along that area. So so here, now I have a somewhat like a presentation if what what are the what are the scenarios if there's a two bicycle are having at the same time no if if they're mm -hmm. going to to kasha ba or if there's a space ba okay so there's a motorcycle because it is eminent in the area that the motorcycle is very uh, useful no Mm. And traffic rolls and a, a light vehicle. No, uh, a, this carriageway only cater uh, light vehicles only because the Mayor Santiago Street is also uh, utilized by by heavy uh, heavy vehicles. Na uh, usable naman siya pero ang hypothesis naman pag ginawa siya on both sides will be on a one way na lang. So etong etong near road is another. Another, another uh, one. Okay, so as you can see here, we have a on the entrance. On the entrance, we have a marker. We proposed a marker here. To, okay, so here is the what it looks like. The marker. So for the marker, we have a landmark, which is uh, the design is uh, very generic. It is introduced to have a sense of place in the area. So it is situated at the both, both ends of the proposal, indicated at the start and the end of the development. Uh, so uh, a theory in, in urban design you know, that uh, 
to to have a sense of place in the area uh, we should have a an indicator to to present or to to know that where you are now no uh, it is one of the the uh, elements no in, in urban design no? to have a land park mm -hmm. and then we can see here a raised uh raised crosswalk no because um there are also establishment on across the near road no so if if we want to have a protected um pedestrian lane or pedestrian sidewalk so we, we introduced the crossing uh, the, the the race crosswalks now also one of the street calming uh, street calming techniques which is ramp uh, on speed tables spanning in the entire width of the road to reduce the speed of the vehicle so so yeah that's the one of the proposals uh, next is the as uh, street vendors are also open uh, this is open for street vendors also because as you can see here we have a, a covered platform uh, for the what we call this the, the shoulder of the through zone or um, uh, pedestrian zone so uh, that's where the the vendors no or the the little kiosk no are, are found so the this uh, covered platform are situated uh, 50 meters apart now along the near road now so they are distributed for a a certain span <clears throat> so here is the this is what it look like no on the entrance so as you can see here, we have a raised pedestrian uh, buffer zone. Uh, street lights also are also introduced. So later on, I'll discuss this one. And this is the carriage zone, which is the 2.5 for the vehicles. All right, so the main objective is to have a safe and obstructive walking oriented space for pedestrian uh, of this University of Antique to Sibalong proper or vice versa. Okay, so another thing here, as you can see, we integrated also street furniture. Uh, street furniture and landscape improved the quality of public, public realm no? according to GDCI 2017. So the wall-mounted collapsible seats now, uh, natutupi ito, so intended for students or pedestrian, located for the street vendors. So there, uh, we noticed also that uh, some of the students are uh, have difficulties. Uh, may may mga nakikita kami mga PWDs uh, which uh, also walk. So they this is this one element in this uh, proposal is very uh, usable. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. Um, area which is the area two uh, this is the, the typical uh typical uh look no, on the near road okay so as you can see the sidewalk road is 4.5 and as per nbc no, on 2005 1.25 to 1 1.5 meter is recommended width for sidewalk while 1.8 to 2.4 meters with a recommended clear path for sidewalks on the residential area. So um, this is the um, closer look on the a clear span of the proposal. Uh, 2.5 carriageway, 0.15 for the power zone, and 1.86 meters for the for the carriage. Uh, through zone or the pedestrian zone. Okay, for the landscaping, so we have indicated a thorough uh, research on this. So for, for the provision of the shrubs no, on the buffer zone, the planting strips can provide a healthy a safety for the pedestrian and better visibility for the motorists. So Pandaki, Taberne, Montana, and Golden Bush. Will be used as privacy screen and accent flats. Now, 
So you can see here on the uh, buffer zone. Oh, before I forgot, uh, we we also cut no the as you can see may, may railings kasi dun eh, na uh, it divides the the pedestrian and the water feature or the irrigation mismo. Um, as per the irrigation, okay lang naman may development as long as they can have an access to the uh, maintenance of the mm. irrigation mismo. So we introduced this, a 5 meter maintenance access every 25 meters. No? So it depends where the, the damage or the the area that the Naya road will be um, working so they can access anywhere no every 25 meters okay so we go to next so this is the conflict no, of what i'm talking about earlier the conflict okay so first we'll go to here or here in the uh, plan okay so there's a tree that's really on the area where the pedestrian is situated no so first we introduce the tree protection or uh, the uh, concrete no uh, tree protection in the trunk so that the the tree will be reinforced it, it's still there but the, uh, the the what we did is we offset the the, the through zone no on the tree trunk so that uh, it will not be damaged the tree will not be damaged no? and the the carriageway also uh, offset no on how much the pedestrian offset the the uh, carriageway also offset no at the same time okay so this is the the uh actual picture of that as you can see here so dyan tatama yung sinasabi kong uh, sidewalk. Uh, sidewalk. Mm -hmm. okay. so another element is the flood and the soil erosion mitigation so this one is a 40 by 40 by 15 erosion control blocks no? installed on the side of the Amia uh, irrigation. Okay, so actual slide pictures. Okay. And the last one will be the uh, the one that connects the near road and the Gonzales Street going to uh, Poblacion Sibalong. <clears throat> okay, so street lights. So uh, along the the proposal, there are also street lights. No, they are spaced at every ten to fifty uh, meters. But in this case, we we space them on every ten meters. No? Applied, so it uses um, LED lights, motion sensor, and a, a dual lighting system. No, for the street carriageway and for the pedestrian. Okay, also we have a pedestrian crossing. And last element will be the pedestrian steel bridge. Uh, we noticed that if we don't have this pedestrian steel bridge, the the uh, the pedestrians will be mixing on the vehicles. No, so we offset a pedestrian steel bridge outside the concrete steel bridge to have a safe. Uh, pedestrian uh, traverse from the uh, near road going to the Gonzales Street, which have an existing pedestrian uh, sidewalk na concrete. So, papunta na po yan dun sa Poblacion Terminal. So, it, so the area will be, uh, the, the pedestrian will be safe on traversing. So, I think that's it for the proposal. Okay, Thank you good. Very much. Okay. Thank you. I have a few questions before you go. Let's see. Okay. Um, number one, uh, what, what, how, by how much you increase the uh, University of Antique? Do you have uh, uh, any data on that? Like, how much was it uh, 2020? How much is it now? Or maybe uh, 20 
2010, 2015, and 2020. Do you have that uh, population data? Um, like uh, population data, something like this. Uh, share my screen, okay? Okay, sir. Okay. So, oops, close. So, student population, you said it was increasing. Student population. Let's see. Okay, if you don't have it now, this will be probably for our finals. Do you have population data? Let's say 2010 now. 2010, 2015, 2020, and projection, projected to 2025. So this is uh, projected population. Something like this. Uh, do you have something like this? Can you research team? Can you? Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> anyone from the research team who has this data? I think they they collected um, the one. Sorry, sir. Good evening, sir. Um, unfortunately, sir, we were not able to gather yung data na per year talaga sa UA kasi parang yung access nila. Need namin ng uh, okay. But the only um, data that we have was um, way back 2009 is meron silang around 6,000 na population within the main campus. And by um, last year lang, 2021, the population has been and no, actually this year uh, around 16,000 na yung population so 20, 2021 15,000 16,000 po and 16. then yung nakita lang namin online way back 2009 so that's a matter of um 7 years uh, oh, okay. so sa doble yung nilaki ng population kasi 6,909 siya way back 2009 Okay, so the double on population, 909. Okay, good. So very clear, the population is increasing. If you give it another seven years, it might double again. So worst case scenario, it will be 30,000 students for maybe, it will be a bit less, siguro, in actual. Okay, um, here, next question. So you mentioned that, uh, I'll stop sharing. You mentioned that climate was one major issue of the making it walkable. Uh, I know you showed it on your screen earlier, Pro. Just highlight how did you tackle the climate problem? Like the how how, how did you provide shading? Uh, just for the sake of the recording. Um, as for the um, weather, um, right now, uh, underdeveloped kasi yung Mira Road. So during rainy season talaga is super muddy yung uh, mm. area. So, um, but the thing is about doon, sa pag, pag ano naman, tag inat naman, wala namang problema kasi fully shaded yung area with trees. Marami talagang puno sa may, um, along that Mira Road. So, ah, it's very okay shaded. Lang, it, yes po. So pag once na tag inat, it's okay lang na wala, wala naman kami na um, continuous talaga na shaded area. But then we've provided some areas naman na shaded just in case na umulan. And then we specifically um, located on the area where in yung area where in we we wanted yung mga street vendors mag uh, um, mag stay para at least pag bumibili or kumakain yung mga students meron silang shaded area. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so I think uh, that, uh, yes. visual sir. This is the what it looked like now. So um we we don't, we don't uh propose any new sun shading for that because um mm, there's the, a lot the area of was well shaded mm. and well vegetated. So the uh ramdam talaga pa when you enter the the near road, no uh Maliwalas. Mm. Okay. So good. We, good. Ano na lang, we retain the, the three canopies. Uh, we look into it that the the 
proposed will have a minimized impact on the on the and the existing trees like what we did and the conflict so iniwasan namin yung isang kawi na ano, for the proposal mm -hmm. okay um uh, next question here is you added the lighting now so could you show the lighting again the street lamps Mm -hmm. uh, I guess my question is, um, did you guys uh, just, did you design the street lamps to look like that? Or did you guess, did you get a default street lamp lamp? Um, as for the street lamp, sir, uh, we have yung sa may DOE, DOE na guidelines na if kung one side lang daw yung maglagay ng one side lang yung ilagyan mo ng street lamp as much as possible yung height niya is same sa width ng pedestrian uh, sidewalk and then road so mm. uh, since medyo limited yung space namin ginawa namin siya uh, one side lang yung street lamp and then it was also um, I think it was sa may uh, yung provide mo ba na global design standard na mm. um, as much as possible is naka ano solar May, um, solar powered um, din ang street lamp. So, solar powered and then sa ilalim yung access niya naman sa may mm. electrical wiring. Mm -hmm. I, I was just asking because the the street lamps is also like a possible kanang uh, can also be designed so that kanang it looks it blends with your existing like street furniture like the you have the almost like potato chip na shape sa roof. Maybe you can have something similar for your kanang the casing of the street lamp. So it looks like one whole kanang uh, unit. So that prob will probably be for the final. You can like shape the covering of the street lamp. So it becomes a. Uh, let me just share this. Uh, print screen. Print screen. On. And don't worry. Uh, that will be my last question. I'll move on to the next. Okay, thank you so much, Antique Group. Very good. So I'll just share my screen here. So what uh, what I was mentioning was over here. Uh, let me save this file. Save us. I'll just use it like this. This this part of the street lamp here could be designed in a way now if you have a like. Uh, that's your that's your waiting shed area. Maybe your street labs could also be like something similar in shape. So all of the elements within your design, they kind of are unified. And then maybe here on your post, you can have some like uh, timber finish similar to your railings over here. Just like really go all out. Okay, you have like unlimited budget. So really create something that Kanang will wow, <laughs> will wow like a uh, future, um, what they call this, uh, maybe the politicians, maybe the school ad admin, our, your, our hypothetical client for this. Kanang really go all out for the final. But so far, this looks good. I'll add more comments when I check your uh, canvas. Okay, very good. Next, let's go to, uh, who is next? Uh, Bas Mayor. Bus Mayor, it seems like Bus Mayor is not here. Wonder where she is. Did I get an email, Bus Mayor? Nope. Nothing. Okay, never mind. Next on the list is uh, Kagampang. Yes, boss, sir. Yes, go ahead, Joyce.
So, good afternoon. This is uh, my, my presentation for today. I propose initial streetscape, desi streetscape design of JP Laurel Avenue. Mm -hmm. So, first, we'll talk about its history. So, JP Laurel Avenue in Davao City is one of the most commercialized streets where the significant developments such as uh, SM Lanang, Abriza Mall, and other commercial institutions are being located. And the availability of different modes of tra transportation is, is expected in this area. So we can assume that this, that this area is highly traffic congested. And, and the 2020 census, the area's population was about 4,929. Uh, with an estimated elevation, uh, the area it has an estimated elevation of 6.3 meters or 20.7 feet above mean sea level so these are the current issues or problems at the at the chosen location so first uh lack of sidewalks so there is minimal to no sidewalk on the site so it imposes threat to the pedestrians and the site's walkability is poor despite its high economic uh area a growth say young area mm -hmm. uh this problem denotes uh, developing countries that give more importance to vehicular movement and ignore the need to cater for pedestrian movement. So another thing is there's no landscape and it is traffic congested, congested and there is no separation of pedestrian movement and vehicular movement and there's also no designated loading and unloading area. So this is the site location. This is a 150 meter long stretch, so from m core up to the main entrance of the Abriza Mall. So this is the proposed design for the, for the site. So I added bike, bicycle lanes, uh, race raised crosswalks, uh, bus stop or the designated loading and unloading area, and sidewalks along the street so so this is the the legend for this know, for, for this site so i divided into three sections uh section a section b and section section c so first is the design concept of the area is to improve the walkability scale and to encourage people to use bicycles uh walk and also utilize public transportation rather than depending on the availability of private vehicles. So uh, I'll be going to show you the section A of the, of the proposed uh, initial design. So this is only a 2D uh, presentation. So okay. I added, I see you, sir. I, <laughs> I, okay, but, yeah, really, no problem. <laughs> no, I was commenting about your 2D. Uh, okay, well, um, I'll proceed, ako, sir. Yes, go ahead. So, section A. So, I'll go here first. Uh, I, I'll go each on this one. So, section A is on this top part. Section B on the middle. And section C is on the lowest or the typical part of the street. So, first is section A. So this section pertains to the design of the loading and unloading area and the designated waiting shed for commuters. So the sidewalk from the left uh, measures 2.5 meters with a 0 0.50 meter plant, planter box separating the sidewalk and the bicycle lane. The bicycle lane measures 2 meters and it then... Uh, I provided a waiting shed before the bike lane. Uh, the Waiting shed and the road is kind of topad good sila, sir. Para mm. direct so lang. Direct so ay ka ng pagbaba. Di na ko mag, ay di na siya mag-occupy ng another space for the mag-add na naman ng road. So na, I, I just mm. added a bus stop on the carriageway mismo. And then next, on the other side, is I provided a 1.20 meter sidewalk. Separate, uh, separate, uh, Sidewalk and the bicycle lane is separated by 0 0.5 meter uh, planter box. And I separated the bicycle lane and the carriageway by using bollards. Well, 
uh, I I didn't add more planter box. Uh, I think it's it's more costly na providing mm. na it it more delication needed did to na side. Next mm. is section B. So uh, the section B is more focused on the raised sidewalks. So the raised sidewalks I uh, is for the walkability of the pedestrian para di na si, uh, dili siya maglisod o can adjust to the level because the because the sidewalk is raised about 200 uh, millimeters mer isa siya ka CHB ang height tapos i added humps uh, those on those going on the south nag add kog hump and those for going to the north so the hump is uh, the ratio is 1 is to 8, so according to the National Building Code. Okay. And next for Section C is this is a typical lang na design without the crosswalk, without the rating shed. So I added lamppost on either side. And I added a bench on the left on the left side because it is a 2.5 meter na sidewalk. So it's 1.2 Na, ay na pa na bilin gamay for people na makawalk. And I added also a center island sa tunga na na mga light posts or street lights para kay kanang guna area is heavily congested. So people kanadili sila magpataka lag like U-turn and left turn. So nasa sila designated na, na left turn area para dili sila makakos of traffic. And the bollards are separated about uh, every two meters po. And okay. the light post, I uh, separate uh, kanang distance is 10 meters dito sa site jud mismo. And also the street lamps. Yun lang po. Okay, good. So, very good. You also include the reference. Okay, go back to uh, area one. A section A. A section uh, A, yes. Yes, okay. So, I'll take a screenshot of this. So, uh, my only comment here, uh, I'll share my screen, is that uh, over here, I don't think you need the, because you said you mentioned I, you're trying to minimize your vegetation because these are also very expensive. Like whenever you have plants, it's also high maintenance because you need to water it, et cetera, et cetera. Yes, so yes. my suggestion would be you don't need the plants between the bicycle lane and the sidewalk. Rather, okay. you only keep the plants over here between the vehicles and the bicycle. So I think you can make this, you can remove the plant here and then you can make this uh, planter box here, okay? The bullards are good. Um, what do you call this? I'll go through your submission to Juan, check the justification for the bollards. So it's either bollards or planter box. Uh, I'm really just trying to say now, it's more important to separate the, the vehicles and the, okay, um, people on bicycles, if they hit people walking, there's not much problem. But if the vehicles, uh, the motorized vehicles hit the bicycle, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a bigger problem. Yes, boss. Noted. Uh, so overall, very good and very best with this kanang uh, this presentation. Uh, more than enough na. Okay. okay, I'll go through your canvas and I, I'll um, add more comments over there. Okay, thank you. Thank you, boss. Next, um, do we have Dimput? Yes, sir. Good evening, Next. classmate. Good evening, sir. Go ahead. Okay. Um, my project is in JC Avenue, city of Coronadal, province of South Cotabato. Um, as per my previous uh, presentation, um, the adjacent buildings along this uh, avenue are um, schools, elementary schools, and the national uh, high school of the city and also the South Cotabato sports complex. And um, the issues that I that we encountered in this area are um, traffic flow and management, no proper pedestrian lane, no proper waste disposal, no shades or landscape. Okay, um, this uh, avenue I propose to be a walkable street. 
So walkability in this context is really a stand-in word for pedestrian friendliness and bike friendliness and accessibility for all, including um, fox, wheel, fox in wheelchair or with other mobility challenges. So here, um, according to Dover, a walkable street design must have five um, aspects, uh, such as shape, comfortable, connected, safe, and memorable. So um, the avenue I uh, divided into uh, three parts. So um, for the first part is where I intend to put the parking area in both sides. So uh, this area will be um, intended for loading and unloading for the students and other uh, commuters. But uh, at the center, the two lanes, I uh, uh, retained to be uh, two lanes for vehicular. Mm -hmm. uh, that is, sorry, it's the, the slides haven't been moving. <laughs> ah, sorry, sir. Uh, I think I'm stuck on the first page. Uh, hold on, sir. Can yeah. me, um reshare? Yes. <laughs> if it still doesn't work, I can share on my end. Okay, sir, please. Okay. Let's just try it sir, uh, on your end first. Okay, sir. Well, uh, okay, okay. So I think we stopped around this part. Uh, let's go, let's start here so, again, so walkability. Okay, sir. Um, um, in this avenue, I propose this avenue to be a walkable street. Um, this will be um, pedestrian friendly, bike friendly, and also um, accessible, accessible for all, including the fox in wheelchair or other mobility challenges. Okay, next slide, please. Um, according to Dover, walkable street design must have five aspects. First is the shape. Next is comfortable, connected, safe, and memorable. Okay, okay. next. Uh can you explain uh, very briefly? I know I know if it means uh, shape, comfortable. Comfortable is very easy for what does mm -hmm. shape mean? Um uh, later on, sir, I will explain. Ah, okay. Okay, okay sir. Okay. Um the avenue I divided into three parts. The the first and the third part, I in uh the last end of the, the avenue, I intend to put the uh locate the um, parking area where all the um the loading and unloading will be uh, located here and also um uh ano sir kanang dire pod ang waste management for easy ano collection of the waste mm. then uh, please uh next slide sir ah okay it's more shape good streets are shaped so the shape it uh, i um identified or determined through the shape of the road and the adjacent um, establishment so for for the roadway that will be the considered as floor the building uh, at the adjacent side are walls and um, the ceiling are the tree canopy or in this case my ceiling is the sky na kasi walang walang trees or landscape in my mm. area okay so uh, next, um, so this is the actual photographs of the road and the adjacent building. So next slide, please. So comfortable. A uh, good streets are comfortable. Street trees and architectural elements like porches, arcades, and awnings moderate the temperature of the surroundings. So it's important na mayroong ano po na shade my shades then and then in this part in the part one um 
uh, there's a provision for parking areas at both, both ends. So I separate the, the parking areas to the dining and the retail area by Bollard, sir. Uh, please, uh, next slide po. So this, I use this type of bollards kasi hindi siya, hindi siya ano sir, yung obstruct, obstruction sa site. So, mm. pero nagdi-determine siya ng boundary po ng parking at saka nung sa pedestrian na area. And mm. then, um, next slide po. So, in the second part where uh, yung mga sh uh, food shops and then dining area. So, what I did, sir, <laughs> nag ano, ako ng shops every, ano, sir, every 10 meters and then uh, 10 meters din po yung dining, uh, 5 meters yung shop, then 10 meters po yung dining area, each uh, shops, and then I locate po ang dining sa in between, uh, ano siya, hindi gaya ng existing na ano, yung dining tables is sa front ng ano, front ng, ng shops. So by this sir, ano din, um, Niyan, hindi mayroong separation ang pedestrian sa road dahil naglagay din po ako ng potted na plants or small trees lang po para magkaroon din ng shades tsaka as, mm. uh, serve as separator din sa sa traffic at tsaka sa pedestrian na area the next part po so um uh, eto sir, yung ginawa ko din siya na comfortable kasi sir, yung pedestrian, yung existing kasi ng pedestrian is 1 meter lang sa side ng sa sa side ng fence ng uh, other establishment. Uh, kung yeah. sa existing, parang madilim siya sa gabi doon sir. So, ang ginawa ko, tinransfer ko yung, parang inopen ko siya sa public yung sidewalk doon para mm. visible po. So, next part po. So, this area sa part 3, dito ko po nilagay yung carnival area kasi hindi naman po sila permanent na nanaan doon. So, um, kasi sometimes, sir, itong area, ito yung ina-allocate ng LGU na parang assembly area during parade. So, itong mga mm -hmm. part trees, small trees or plants, pwede siyang ma-move, sir, sa, sa, ano, sa side para ma-occupy yung the whole area. Okay. Okay, so next um, slide, please. So, comfortable pa din kasi ito, sir, sa section, dito nakikita yung sidewalk sa gilid na visible na siya sa, sa public. So, na minimize yung mga crimes or mga anas, na unavoidable na ano mga events po. Tapos, mm -hmm. safe na din yung pedestrian kasi merong mga patted trees na nagsiseparate sa vehicles. And then, um, ang sa existing po currently na na ano ng LGU isa sa mga mit na solution nila sir in dito yung yung traffic na speed na, sa area na ito is 20 lang 20 to 30 so it's good move mm -hmm. sa LGU sir na na lessen nila itong ano itong speed dito very good okay. next uh, slide po sir so this also comfortable din sir kung merong patted trees kasi it's nice sa mata tapos ano din ma very relaxing din po yung impact sa ano users. Okay. The next next slide sir. So comfortable din in terms na wala nang ano sir yung garbage. Ah isa po pa lang ano sir yung ordinances sa city namin is yung less lang yung yung gar uh, trash can na nilalagay sa public area kasi po ano yung para malesen yung ano sir yung volume ng garbage so yung yung mga tao mismo self discipline na yung basura nila dinadala nila sa bahay nila so mm -hmm. next next na slide sir connected so the both end of this street is connected to the uh, uh, secondary or primary road of the city din sir so that's very important na they are connected to uh, to this um bigger road for the accessibility din sir and then next is 
safe. As I as I um, discussed earlier, the pedestrian or the users in this design or proposal is safe because they segregated already to the traffic and also they are safe from other crimes if uh, the all the areas are visible. There is no dark uh, areas, sir. Okay. And then next. But sa electricity naman po, sir, sa lighting, there's no problem in the area because well-lighted naman po doon. Tsaka controlled by CCTV din, sir. Ah, okay. Okay, so uh, next po. Yun, uh, next, sir. Kung na-discuss ko na din po ito. So ito din po, na-discuss ko na din po earlier. Mm -hmm. And then memorable, memorable in terms of the yung design po ng shops. So I intend or suggest to the LGU that make it in uniform, sir, para maganda sa sa mata, tsaka elegant or sophisticated ang impact po sa ano mm -hmm. sa tao. So memorable, so ma ma memorable kasi madami na yun magpapi pictures. Oh. Alam <laughs> na yung mga students. So. Yes. Isa siya sa mga uh, landmark din po. Okay. So, dapat eye-catching yung uh, design. Yes po. Okay. And, okay. That will be all, sir. Sige. So, this is very good for initial proposal. So, not much ka ng uh, comments here. Ah. Oh, yeah. Here. Uh, sa parking area, um, why did you go for 90 degree parking and not uh, parallel parking? Actually, sir, it's a free area, sir. So, mm. wala po akong nilagay na, na line or uh, parking line, sir. Mm, free area. So, uh, park any way you want? Because <laughs> it's... Um, Parang iniiwasan ko din na mag ano din sir ng, ng road marking dyan sir kasi sometimes niyo-use din po yun siya sa mga assembly area po na ano uh, for example dun sa parade or sa pag ano lang sa mga... Ah, so maybe you can call it a uh, shared space lang. Yes po. Opo. Yeah. You can just call it shared space and then you can um, sa final you can uh, have like an option of and then with parking, then the option without the parking. Yes. And I think my only suggestion here, maybe angled parking will be better. Kay, yeah. Mm -mm. Uh, I don't know. It goes all the way, no? Yes, like sir. Yeah. My two lanes po ako na ano. Two lanes, pero one way. Two way din siya, sir. Ah, two way. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So, sa, what do you call this? Sa final, which will be our kanang going December na, Maybe we can use angled parking sure. uh, following the direction of like uh, wherever the traffic is supposed okay. to. Okay, and sir. then maybe you can just 2D drawings are okay with me. You don't need the, the 3D drawings. Um, I would just like uh, to ask you na, your own idea of what the stall should look like. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, and so far. Hmm. Simple proposal lang. Uh, so we can... Uh, Opo, sir, kasi lang mo naman LGU, ano sa budget. <laughs> oh, oh, nga. Pero di rin masakripis yung ano, design. Oh. You can also use the existing ones and like create uh, potted plants that look nice with the existing ones, the existing stalls. Mm. Okay. 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 Good. Sige. Uh, next, we have... Si Basmayor is Basmayor. Did Basmayor come back? Wala. Uh, na, wala. Didn't join. <laughs> um, Gaviola, I see you. Hi, sir. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. Sige. Uh, I can share your uh, submission or you can share yourself. But... Ako lang mo share, sir. <laughs> okay, go ahead. So, good evening, everyone. So, just a recap from my previous presentation. This is the site analysis of my chosen um, site location or street. It is a national road called Obay Talibun Road. So, this one on the right side. So, its population or the population of the town is around 81,000 and is projected to reach 100,000 in year 2025. 
especially now that the development of Ubay is fast growing since ang among governor now sa Bohol, sir, is from our town man. So mm. everything is fast track na karon. So based from the site analysis I've done last uh, last time, I have um, cited at least three problems. So my chosen road is actually a bit okay na siya, except that there is no formal sidewalks wala siya kanang kwanja designation for sidewalks then there are flooding on sides of the roads since the canal on this side on the south side kay kanang dead man siya and kanang wala na use Among there are floods beside each side of the road then traffic congestion on pedestrian crossing so this one so my presentation is kanang trying to minimize or solve these problems. Mm -hmm. So this is my proposed improvement of the site. Okay. So maani siya ang existing Indian trees. Wala actually na ko siya gitouch. I just want to improve its kanang si tawagana kanang bitaw <laughs> kani siya um kaning iyang murag iyang flower oh flower pot <laughs> kaning iyang mga plant boxes yeah mm. I just wanted to retain it and improve it kay nindot naman siya tan awon ko lang lang og gamayng tender loving care <laughs> Mm. So, it's sorry. It's currently CHB lang yung. Uh, yes, sir. CHB box. lang siya, then plastered lang. Ang ubang plant mm. boxes is actually painted by the students mm. from the elementary school. They tried to paint it, then na hinahinay na siya gapapas. Ah, okay. So, okay. I want to retain these plant boxes and the plant itself because creates a visual appear i appear appear on the street mm. if you can see mm. here and nagive give siya o kanang sun shading mm. so if you can see in my proposal um the left side of the plant boxes is the covered sidewalk mm -hmm. so this one i choose to put the sidewalk here because it's safer for the children then mm. I can put a penang roof too. So this is the proposed um mm. it shows the covered sidewalk. So under the sidewalk is the storm drain. Kay mostly maujud ni siya ang flooded nga area sa street mm. kay ubus mangud siya. Mm. So I choose to put the storm drain there, then ibaba sa storm drain is the sidewalk. Mm. Then after the um trees kay i provided a bike lane okay, siya, uh -huh. two meter wide bike lane and then after the bike lane is a buffer zone so wala ko nag provide og any concrete nga barrier between the bike lane and the kanang carriageway kay kanang Feel na ko mo piut ang kasada then 20 meter RRO ramanisha. Siguro in the mm -hmm. future if mag expand sila. Then the carriageway is 6 meters wide. Then I provided another bike lane again sa pika side. Then mm -hmm. so an, a reason nga nung nag provide ko og parallel parking, it's also it can be the loading and unloading zone sa at bang sa school mismo kay. Maoni siya mismo ang very congested on kanang peak hours kana maghatod og mga students then magtapon og na tanang vehicle during a sign maong mm. ma stop ang flow sa traffic so i provided this lane where they can park and unload and load their children then the last part is the sidewalk it's not covered na ang during a side kay kanang daghan man pong vegetation dere trees nga kanang broad siya broad ang yang kanang sitaw na crown so shaded na most ani nga part 
So wala mm-hmm. na ako nag-provide og kanang cover sa kanya. Usually pod ang children nga kanang magila ka is diri man nga side padong didto. So mm-hmm. kanila ang akong gi provided og covered walk ay sidewalks. So that is the proposed streetscape then this is the section. Mm-hmm. So it you can see here this is the bus stop. Uh, there's only one bus stop in front of the gymnasium. So I would like to retain that one specific area kay if kanang wala na may laing place nga <laughs> kabutangan ka mm-hmm. like, siya ang <laughs> more vacant na place for the bus stop. And appropriate ra siya kay if ari if I would put a bus stop along the kanang at bang sa gate sa school kay musamot ka congested if ana mo stop ang mga buses. Mm-hmm. And dili pa siya kayo safe. Then dili sa next part is kanang municipal hall naman dili. So giretain nako ang location sa bus stop. So this is the bus stop and the next is a 1.8 meter wide sidewalk. Then the parallel parking or the loading and unloading 3 meters wide then the bike lane then the travel lane which is the carriageway a two lane 6 meters wide then a buffer zone and another bike lane which is 2 meter wide then the planters which is 1.8 meters and the covered sidewalk which is 2 meters so, kanidi siyang dimensions ani sir, kay maupod ni ang actual dimension sa mm. street yard maragi. Karang ko ano na ako, improvise or improve ra na ako. Mm. And gaat na ako bike lanes. So, kaning 6 meter wide nga travel lane kay kanang as is yun na siya dire. Maud siya iyang dimension. Then, as of now, ang kanang kilid-kilid niya is shouldering ra. Mm. So this is some of the 3D I prepared. So if mm. you can see here, these are the ancient trees na kanang I chose to retain. Okay, it's very visual appealing <laughs> and light mm. like, po awon. Then on its left side is the covered sidewalk, which I have provided seating areas to. If you can see here in number four, there are sitting benches too in the sidewalk. Mm. Then sa la, I right side sa plants or the trees is the bike lane. Then mm. a buffer zone. Then the carriageway. Another bike lane. Then the loading or unloading area and the sidewalk. So on this part, wala na ako gilay out ang mga civic buildings, sir. Oh, okay, okay, no problem. <laughs> you can ayaw. just put like boxes there. Ah, yes, sir. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nakalimot na ba ko? Okay, Pati okay. ang vegetation there, kay, here, kay nakalimutan na ako. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this, this is a top view section in front of the municipal hall. So there's a pedestrian lane. Gi retain na po na ko ang kung asa located ang mga pedestrian lane. Sir, kay based sa akong observation and study, kay naaraman po siya sa saktong lugar. <laughs> mm. Then, this is another aerial view from sa Picas na side. Then, this is view from the corner almost at the kanang intersection. This one, number one. Then, mm-hmm. number two, here sa Ari man ang intersection, sir, sa pinaka right side. Mm-hmm. So, another view. Then, number three is view from the bike lane and the sidewalk and planters. Then, number four is a view from the sidewalk pod. So, ay, number five, a view again sa carriageway. Then, number six is in front of the school gate, elementary school gate. Number seven, two is a view on the bike lane, and number one is a view across. Mm-hmm. Ay, number seven, day ni sir, number seven. Ah, okay. Number Ay, number eight, day number eight. Ah, <laughs> so, mo ni siya ang gate sa school. So, sa materials, I choose pervious materials for the sidewalk so that the water can just seep in, seep mm-hmm. through the kanang surface. Then, sa plant boxes, kanang 
mas gichus na ko na delete na siya painted so either kanang affordable bricks or kanang koan gahon ako na ko deco stone but it's too expensive <laughs> mm. <laughs> but you can use uh, kay na may kanang mark outdoor tiles nga murag deco stone dito yung forma pero mas barato siya so <laughs> Murag mo na lang na siya ang sa plant boxes. Mm. Kay, ang paint kay tends to wash out and kuan man ka nang mahugaw in time. Mm. Well, Then well, ang they... fence... Mm. Oh, yes, oh, yeah. go ahead, go ahead. Then ang fence sa school is ka nang gi-improve lang pud-pud na ko para presentable siya tanawon. Ka nang sa... Ka nang division between the sidewalk and the fence sa school. Mm -hmm. So, maura to siya, sir. The end. Okay, so uh, balik tayo sa mo section. For me, there is uh, uh, there, there is. I am not. I, I'm not liking the idea of parallel bike parking near the sidewalk, and then you put a bike lane and becomes a travel lane again. So that's like I think a major issue. Na uh, I know. I know you want the parallel parking to be there as a bus stop because you want to unload. But you can still unload with the bike lane in like a collie draw. Ayos. Delicado siya kaya nagintersect. Ito sir, or ganina lang na ako na realize sa presentation ni Bas Mayor nga na balik ako ng bike lane ng parallel parking. Okay, kani siya over here. This is a bit unsafe. Where is my brush? Hi. It's lagging. Okay, so interchange lang niya. Ah, yes, sir. With the parking. Okay, you can still unload. Okay, the bicycle travel is not so fast. Na it's not safe. Kanisha, it causes like uh, inter na, na sandwich ang, ang cyclist in between two vehicles. So it's not, not ideal. Okay, and okay. then uh, let's see here. All of this is good. Ako alam, uh, it's hard to read the, the, the text, the numbers here. Kanisha. Ayos, so final sir. going December, we just like make clear text, like larger text. Okay, sir. Mm, I think you can uh, easily do that, sa AutoCAD. Yes, sir. Okay, that's all very good. Sige. Thank you, sir. And going to the final for everyone, I'll have a sort of a format for each the each of the pages, so we can so everything, all of our submissions uh, look good together. I'm planning to share this with the with the dean and then maybe we can make a presentation out of it <laughs> so, so for the students without okay sigi thank you next we have um ramoso is ramoso here presenting wala <laughs> i think she emailed me about having uh, a meeting or something and then see you you emailed me that he would be here for <laughs> wala so on the lamp. Okay. Uh, let me close this. Okay. So overall, all the works are very good. Um, definitely beyond my expectations. So what we'll do now is that um, you have my comments here. I will review your works again. Unfortunately, we also have some missing students. Uh, but yes, I'll leave the comments over here. And then our next uh, topic will be, let's see here. Um, we have a just a check up again on like uh, urban development, and maybe uh, after this like quick quiz. Uh, let me check here. Let me edit these questions. I think they need to be updated. Is this just an essay? Questions. Ah, okay, this is about the essay. Okay, these are all essay questions. Okay, we already have the initial sort of idea of what we want, and then we'll go through sort of the different can um, go through the different parts like the bicycle lane, how, how we can improve it, and then we'll also touch on a bit on uh, governance. And then I think before we touch on governance, we'll talk about can uh, public space, the importance of public space. Uh, yeah like a discussion on public space and then who handles the public space as the government. So we'll be talking about uh, Philippine planning, governance, uh, funding, 
and where basically where they get their funding and then we'll add another module here of like uh, what is kind of public space and then this will handle plazas and we have one reference book for this i will share it to you and then after that after that discussion we'll go into um disaster risk management still blank <laughs> i still need to do some research on that just making sure that our proposals are disaster proof because as we showed earlier most most infrastructure is already kind of helping out with uh, disaster risk management especially sub flooding so i'll go to your proposals here uh, like this one for example uh, as mentioned before by gaviola the storm drains are dead and they need to be kind of updated or kind of uh, basically overhauled so uh, small small kind of infrastructure like this really is a big help like if it's implemented citywide it's really kind of the 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 impact is uh, very significant okay so we're we finished a bit earlier uh, i'll go through your uh what they call this submissions again expect some comments and then yeah next week we'll start with um a short quiz on history of urban development. These are just three essay questions. Actually, um, since it's seven o'clock, just go through uh, this document again at uh, this module, and then you can answer the quiz uh, for the next uh, two hours or until nine o'clock. So let me just publish this. Okay. Let's see, deadline will be, uh, I can get this on Monday, na lang, November 7. November 7, 9 p.m. I still need to compile all of the midterm grades. <laughs> Let's see, short quiz, uh, 30 minutes lang. Uh, there's a time limit for this one. So go over the module before you open this. And then the questions are, why did Cebu City switch from grid development to sprawling type development? Cite two reasons. Based on the article or module, History of Urban Development, what were the four periods of urban development in the Philippines and what were their goals? And then think about sustainable development and how can urban designers and environmental planners lead communities to adapt uh, sustainable building practices? So this is just like a quick review of like what we discussed before the um, All Saints Day more na All Saints Week <laughs> break because of the typhoon. And then next week, we'll go into governance, financing, and public space. And then basically, we'll get those information and apply it to our um, proposals, and we'll make a final proposal. Uh, save and publish. OK. Let me double check if, if the deadline is correct. This is due. Oh, I didn't put the. I did. Here we go. Monday, lang Monday, nine p.m. So you have until now, from now until Monday to say to answer this. Okay. So far, if you look at everyone's grades, um, the big ones will be. Oops, I accidentally. Except in PowerPoint. Basically, I'll use. Um, these planning uh, process quiz, Anisha. So this will be basically your pre-mid, the sustainability quiz and uh, planning process quiz. And then your midterm will be this initial design proposal. For the most part, if you look at your percentages, everyone is above 80%. Um, a lot of people are in the upper 90s, so expect uh, good midterm grades. <laughs> Okay, and then these other ones here will be counted as seat work. Uh, so these uh, out of five, three points, 10 points will be the seat work. And usually I grade 50% um, exam and 50% seat work. For the most part, uh, everyone did pretty well. So exams, my exams are pretty easy. And then, yeah, really no problem with the midterm grades here. Oh, uh, did everyone kind of send or like pay their midterm juice? 
So please, uh, are they like, uh, I'm not so strict with the midterm juice. Uh, they just told me to tell you now, pay your midterm juice. And then the same put the finals. So seems like we're on the right track. Any questions before I uh, stop the recording? Any questions? Uh, going once, going twice, Sigi. Okay. <clears throat> 